Hello everyone, if you are dealing with a data set where you want to track the annual growth of a certain business, then you know how important it is to learn the gross percentage formula in Excel. But we can easily do this by inserting the formula and applying to all the cells within a second. So this is Jihadrian Jim from Excel Demi and today we will learn several methods on how to calculate growth percentage formula in excel in our first case we want to calculate growth percentage between two numbers at first we have product sales in 2019 sales in 2020 and growth of sales percentage in column b C, D, and E. Our main target is to calculate the growth percentage. And to calculate that, at first we have to deal with it in percentage formula. To do that, at first we we'll select the whole column and go to the home tab. And then in the number section, we have to select the percentage option. Now we have to apply our formula. To do that, at first we have to get the difference between the two years, which is in the D5 cell minus c5 cell after that we have to divide it with our initial value which is in the c5 cell of the 2019 cells so if you press the enter button then you will get your growth percentage now copy the formula to apply it to all the cells then you will get your desired result in this new case we want to calculate growth percentage increased by specific percentage so we have again product actual price and the price after 15 percent vat in column b c and d in this case our target is to get the price after 15 percent vat so here 15 percentage is the specific percentage as we have mentioned before so at first we have to write down our formula to do that at first we have to select the cell which is in the c5 actual price then we have to multiply it with our growth percentage so 1 plus as our specified value is 15 percent so write down 15 percent and now if you hit the enter button then you'll get your formula now copy down the formula to apply it to all the cells that's how we can easily get the price after a specific percentage growth In our new case, we want to calculate the original price. Here we have product, growth percent, current price and original price in column B, C, D and E. In this case, we want to get our original price. Here we have growth percent and the price after the increase. So we're gonna get the original price from that. To do that, at first we have to get our current price and then we have to divide it with our growth percentage so we'll select one and then add it with our growth percent and after that we'll hit the enter button so we'll get your original price now copy down the formula to get original price for every cell in our new case we want to calculate growth percentage between two yearly sales data in this case, we have here total sales growth percentage in column B, C and D. In this case, our target is to calculate growth percentage between two years. So in the initial value, you will get any kind of growth percentage. We have to calculate it from the second value. So at first, we have to get down the difference between two years, which is the data of second year, which is 2014 and get the difference from 2013. And now we have to divide it with the initial value which is C5. Now if you hit the enter button then you'll get your growth percentage from the first two years. If you copy down the formula then you'll get the growth percentage for every two years. So that's how it is done. In our new case we want to calculate average annual growth rate. To do that we have year sales growth rate and average annual growth rate in our excel sheet 
at first we have to calculate the growth rate by using the previous method. So we'll go to the D6 cell and insert the formula of the previous method. Now hit the enter button and then you'll get your growth rate for the first cell. Now copy down the formula to get the result for every cell. But our main target is to get the average annual growth rate. And to do that, we have to use the average function. So we'll write down the average function and then we have to select the data range, which is from D5 to D10. And after that, we have to press the enter button. Now you will get your average annual growth rate. In our new case, we want to calculate compound annual growth rate. To get that compound annual growth rate, at first we have to select the E5 cell, then we have to write down the formula, which is at first the N value, in this case C10, then divided it with the initial value, which is the C5 cell, then we have to use the power sign, and now in this case we have to use 1 and divide it with periods. In this case, we have 6 years, so period will be 6 minus 1. So after that, you have to use the formula and now you have to minus 1. And now hit the enter button to get your perfect result. Now we want to calculate percentage decrease. In this case, we have again product sales 2019, sales 2019, but now in this case, here the sales is going decrease, so we have to measure the decrease of sales. To do that, at first we have to do our very first thing, which is measuring the difference between the two years. So at first we have to get the final value D5 minus, we have to get the initial value and now divided it with our initial value C5. Now if you hit the enter button then you will get a decrease of percentage. Now if you copy down the formula then you will get your percentage of decrease. So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly or you can also download the practice book from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedbacks please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing us for more content like this.